coming to my backyard, AKA my summer science lab. Oh, gotta love it. Summer science in style. Totally. Summer is one of my top four favorite seasons. Uh, there are only four seasons? Yep, and summer's one of my favorite ones. Okay, we've got work to do. Starting with this pizza box. Did I hear pizza? Uh, I don't get it. It's empty. Sure is. It's for our solar oven. Of course it is. But what's a solar oven? That sounds cool. You'll find out, and don't worry. We'll be cooking up some ooey, gooey, cheesy nachos once we get our oven up and running. Here's what you'll need. One cardboard pizza box, one box knife or scissors, aluminum foil, clear tape, plastic wrap, black construction paper, newspapers, one ruler, and adult supervision. First things first, use a box knife or scissors to cut a flap in the lid of the pizza box. You'll need an adult around for this part. Mom, help please. What you making, Nikki? A solar oven, so we can make nachos and cheese using the sun's rays. A solar oven? Dad'll be happy if it cuts down on the electric bill. Save me some of those sunny nachos. I really want to see how it works. Oh, we will. Thanks, Mom. When you're cutting, be sure to leave about an inch of space between the flap and the edges of the lid. And fold the flap backward a bit so that it stands up. Like this. Yeah. Oops. I guess it's a good idea to make sure no one's standing behind you. Sorry, Robs. I'm okay. I'm okay. Next up, cover the inside of the flap with aluminum foil. This will help reflect rays from the sun into the box. Take the foil to the back of the flap so it stays in place. Then grab your plastic wrap and tear off a big piece like this. Ah, ah, I'm stuck. Help. Need a hand? Yes, please. Woo, just when I thought summer science would be easy. Sorry, Robbie. Hee <laughs> hee. On the bright side, you can show us how to make this pizza box airtight, eh? Now open the lid, cover the underside with plastic wrap, and tape it down. Perfecto. Two layers of plastic wrap covering the entire underside of the box cover. This will make sure our oven is airtight so that all of the heat that comes in stays in. Next up, line the entire bottom of the pizza box with your black construction paper. You see, the color black absorbs heat. And you'll need that heat to cook the nachos and cheese that will get put right on top of the black paper. Hey, Nikki, I have an important science question for you. Which is faster, heat or cold? Um... Heat, because you can catch a cold. <laughs> anyway... Be sure to pat the sides of the box with newspaper all around the black paper. That'll really make sure the heat doesn't jump out. Now we put in the nachos and cheese. When do we get to eat it? Coming right up. Just close the box lid and use your ruler to keep the flap propped open. Turn the box toward the sun and voila! Are they ready? Are they ready? Not quite. First, the sun's going to reflect off the aluminum foil and go inside the box. The plastic wrap, flat paper, and newspaper will make sure the heat can't leave the box. And then it's only a matter of time before it gets hot enough in there to melt the cheese. It's hot enough out here to melt me if we wait long enough. Perfect time for a pool party, I'd say. Race it there! Bonsai! Eh, whoever said the cheese needs to be totally melted? Mm, mm, mm. These nachos are delicious! Robbie! Wow, I was hungry! Remember, you can cook lots of things in a solar oven, like fondue and baked potatoes and even s'mores! It really works! I love summer! Comment below to tell us about your solar oven creations! And like and subscribe for more science right here on The Nikki Show.